When it comes to pitching a tent, the first thing we need to do is find an ideal place to put it. That means looking around for any flat ground, somewhere that's not got any lumps that will be uncomfortable to sleep on, or any big dips that might fill up with water. Also, just have a check for any hazards like branches that might fall down on you in the night. Now we need to get the tent out of the bag and make sure all the different pieces are in there. So we're going to lay them out on the floor next to where we're going to put the tent up so everything's nice and accessible. We've got in the tent a few different pieces and this is a simple dome tent. So it has a fly sheet which is the outer shell, the bit that's going to keep you dry, an inner tent which is the living area, that's this bit, a bag full of poles and a bag full of pegs. What you might want to do if it's going to be windy is just start off by pegging stuff down to stop it blowing away. So our tent bag here is going to stick a pegging to stop it disappearing. Next we're going to put our poles together. So this tent's got three different poles that are all the same sort. They're made up of little sections which we then ping together with the elastic that's in the middle. So grab one pole and just start folding it together so that the bit there slides into the metal bit which is called a ferrule. Clip it in and keep going. And once you've got the pole sorted, just lay it on the floor out of the way. So we've now laid out our ground sheet where we want the tent to go. So our inner tent is pointing in the right direction. Make sure you're happy with it, and then we're going to fix it in place by putting some pegs in the corners. Take a handful of pegs, see I'm going to keep going back and forth. And we're going to place our pegs really simply. I'm just going to take it, put it in the ground about a 45 degree angle. If the ground's really soft, you can push it in by hand. If it gets jammed, we're going to use our foot to help push it in. So you're going to put your heel on the floor and push it in like it's a pedal, just nice and gently. We're then going to work around all of the others and put each corner in. Next, we need to put the poles into the tent. We need to make sure we've got the right ones. This tent's got two different types of poles. Two which are the same length, which make the main dome, and then this one with a red tag which goes in the porch. Different types of tent might have different markers. Now we're going to put our poles into the tent. So I'm making sure I've got one of those two poles for the dome, and I'm going to thread it through this pole seam. So this tent has got a stitched seam all the way through which the pole will slide through. Other tents might have clips. All I'm going to do is push it through. I need to make sure I push instead of pull, otherwise the different pole sections will come undone. Push through, and when it gets to a new seam, just push it through again, keep it going, and try and keep your boots off the inner tent, stop it getting muddy. And we're going to keep going until the end of the pole is just about the corner of the inner tent. We're then going to start making the dome shape by putting the pins into the end of the poles. We need to go to the other end and push it up, and that's what will make it into that arched shape. What we're going to do is push the pole back through the tent and lift up the inner tent at the same time. If it starts to catch, if there's any of those metal ferrules catching as you go, just give it a wiggle and that'll loosen it up. Once you've pushed it all the way through, you can then put the pin in, just like we did on the other side. It should be looking a bit more like a tent now, so there's two things we need to do. First of all, we need to tie these two poles together. I'm just going to use a simple bow just to stop them sliding around too much. And then the last thing we need to do is to check around and make sure that this tent looks like a tent before we put the fly sheet on. Looks good. Now we need to put our fly sheet over the top. So we're going to pick it up, check it's the right way around, make sure the door's lined up with the door on this end, and then spread it over the top of our inner tent. We then need to tie on the fly sheet to the pole system. So if we fold it back, we should find some little ties and they should line up with where this gap in the poles is. We're going to tie them on using a simple bow. And we do the same for each of the other three corners. Get yourself a handful of pegs and we're going to start pegging out our fly sheet. When we do this, we need to make sure that the stitch seams on the tent are in line with the poles. Follow it down and you should find an elastic pegging point. That's going to go about three, two, three inches out from the inner tent. Just like we did before, peg in 45 degrees and finish it off with your foot. If it doesn't look quite straight, we can sort that out later, but it's time to put the porch pole in. That's the last pole which had the red tag on. So this one, the red tag on the pole matches up with the red tag on the pole sling. Slide it through. Just as before, we need to put the pin in. The pin's on the same ring as the last one was. Same on this side, push it up to make that arch shape and put the pin in. Next we need to pull the door out to make that porch shape. Find the two elastic tabs that make one side, put them together and pull it out so it looks like a natural angle and place the peg in. Do the same on the other side, 
pulling it out to make the door into a natural shape. It's important that you peg the door at the same time. That will mean that when you come to do the zip up later, it'll definitely all fit together. The next thing we're going to do is put our guy ropes out. The guy ropes are really important. They're there to stop the tent blowing around too much in the wind and to keep the fabric nice and tight so any rain runs off it. So untie the guy ropes, just uncoil them. And you might have to adjust them to length. So find the place where the knot is, pull out a loop from there, and that's where your peg's going to go. The guy rope wants to be placed in line with what it's supporting. So in this case, it's supporting this pole. So we're going to put it in line with the pole. It's going to go out about a couple of foot, foot and a half away from the tent. Get it reasonably tight. Put the peg in just like before. Give it a final check to make sure that this seam is running in line with the pole. And if it's not, just give it a tweak. Don't worry about moving the guy ropes around. We can tweak it all later to make sure it sits nice and tight. So that's it. We can make any final adjustments to make sure the fly sheet's nice and tight. But basically we're there. As you can see, you don't need to be an expert to put up one of these tents. All we have to do now is gather our gear, get it nice and neat, put it in the tent, and start to make this place our home.